morning, everybody. Uh, I just got a chance to play a little bit of the patch 13 update for Diablo 3, and they changed quite a few little things about the game, about the skill system in particular. Although the beta has more content now, uh, personally, you'll notice when you're playing the game is that your skills box, which used to have a list on the side on the left here of all the skills you could pick, and then you could, uh, uh, once you pick the skills you had active, you could set them to your bar down here. Now, go to your skill page, which is all new, and it tells you uh, if you have a primary uh, skill selected, um, it will actually put that in your left mouse button for you automatically, where it kind of belongs. Um, if this, and primary skills for all classes will be things that generate their resource. Barbarians generate fury with some abilities, um, and then spend it with secondary abilities. Uh, mages have uh, signature spells, which don't cost any mana, like my shock pulse here. It does not cost anything. So it's my left mouse button. My right mouse button then becomes uh, an arcane orb. Very, very powerful. And costs 35 of my arcane power. Uh, and there's a defensive ability. I have only one Frost Nova. And they map that to the one key, so I tap one. Freezes. They've changed some of the skills. Uh, Frost Nova no longer deals damage, it just freezes for three seconds, which is nice. Um, they've added a bunch of uh, new uh, item types, even in early in the game as I am at level 5. Uh, like 15 minutes in, I already see there's uh, um, Starlight. Is a, uh, two to, it adds arcane damage. It has a nice little glow to it there. Let's see. Um, but uh, I know that they've... Uh, <laughs> by the way, I should mention, this uh, system of mapping certain ability types to certain button types primary to left mouse, secondary to right mouse. That's actually uh, optional. It's on my default, but you can go to the options, and you can actually go to elective mode. And uh, I didn't check it, I did not check it, because I kind of want to see what they're doing with the, uh, with the uh, system. But if you did check it, you could actually map whatever you want to wherever you want, make it more comfortable for you. Um, Almost level six, and at level six, we are going to have us um, our first look at runes. So let's do that. Look at that together. I didn't notice the difficulty in that. I don't have enough every skill. Power. Uh, every skill in the game. Getting lasting longer, being more effective. Uh, so I was thinking, well, man, they're going to make that uh, <laughs> they're gonna make that really really hard to, to lose. But no, actually, I've fought more unique and, and, high, and uh, named creatures that, than I've ever seen before. Um, and uh, they've been real challenging fights. I haven't died yet, uh, or even popped a potion, but it went from just killing things indiscriminately to suddenly having to you know, manage my defensive cross no ability and, and backing away while I'm recharging my mana for arcane power. Fast. Uh, I did also get a brand new skill. Called Frost Ray. Because I see Disintegrate now. Sorry, sorry, Jay. Unlocked at 20, so I won't be seeing that in the beta anymore. But they have a Frost Ray, which is the same thing but for ice. They also reduce the cooldown time in the swap skills. Now. It's not 30 seconds anymore. It's just like, I don't know what it is. 15, maybe. Seems like it's half. There you go. Full six. Boom. I've unlocked my first. Oh, I got Magic Missile Rune unlocked Charge Blast. So, I've unlocked this rune Charge Blast. So, I don't get to pick. Uh, I do not pick which rune that I unlock, it just unlocks for me. Indicating that these runes are better than this first rune, or maybe just different. What's Charge Blast do? Charge Blast, Magic Missile by the way, just a s single straight shot, but Charge Blast just increases the damage of Magic Missile to 143%, so I kind of feel like that. There's no reason to use Charge Blast, uh, to use the, uh, 
charge bolt skill, my lightning bolt skill I was using. Well, that's too bad. I really thought that was going to work out so Need that you could, time. you could uh, pick which skill and rune that you were using, but it did not. Uh, also, let's take a look at this uh, charge blast, then, which actually doesn't probably look any different. Oh, no, it actually does look different. It's, uh, that's very cool looking. Usually, it was, before it was a, actually, I wonder if I can... Oh, it goes back and cool down, but I can show you it looked like before. Maybe that's because my, my frost beam. Come on. I'm gonna kill this guy. Kill this guy. I can heal. Okay, I probably should put my rune. Okay, here's what it looks like. It looks like a big bolt. And I uh, put the uh, rune on it and it had like a kind of a neat black uh, backdrop to it. There it is. Need the more time. is really good damage. Uh, also, um, it slows guys down by like 35% or something. 30%. Attack speed goes down. But, nice to have the area effect damage from that. And now this is more damage. Oh, the charge bolt does hit me. But I never came out for that. Pick up a few things. Also, it's kind of cool when I kill guys and they leave like a kind of a glow to, them, to the bodies. Which is neat because I've seen that effect before with like poison and lightning, but never with arcane damage. So, kind of a nice touch. Alright. So now, can I see what other. Anything good? No. Can I see what other skills? Because you can actually see. So, level 13 unlock split. Which will fire three missiles that each deal half weapon damage. Shock pulse. I can now see when I unlock certain things. At level eight, I unlock uh, my first shock pulse bolt. Um, let's take a look at arcane orb. What did I just do? I didn't want to change anything. I just changed it to shock pulse. Oh, why didn't mean to do that? Okay. Um, at level seven, I'll get an arcane nova. Which will modify the orb to deal weapon damage to all enemies with a bigger radius. Well, that seems really useful, actually. Uh, Ray of Frost, I'll never get to see. See, that's the bus bummer. I, w I mean, I understand some of these might be much more powerful than others, but they should—they weren't before. Maybe they are now. They, before, they just modified them to be different, but n not necessarily. Not necessarily was any one rune better than the others. Uh, but now I'm seeing. That they kind of feel that they had to unlock them like that in a progression. Uh, I do like this interface, so I think this is really neat that you can pick a modifier. I mean, by the time you've unlocked all of them, you can really pick whatever you want. Um, but as you're progressing through the game, I guess I guess that's actually fine because as you're progressing through the game, they unlock pretty quickly, um, and this way they know what you've got for balance purposes. Um, Frost Nova will get Shatter. Oh wow. Uh, a frozen enemy that's killed has a 50% chance of releasing another Frost Nova. That seems pretty awesome. Um, and then here at level 9 I'll unlock an Arcane slot. I don't know what spells and abilities go in there, or in Conjuration, or in the Mastery skill slot level 19. Um, but we'll see. Like like Ray of Frost, there's actually a bunch of new things added too. Uh, which, is, uh, which is always fun. So... All right. Well, I think that's uh, that's probably a lot enough. I don't think I need to show you a whole bunch more of the actual basic content. Um, I don't have enough awesome yeah. power. Kind of a awesome point where I can almost start crafting. They, uh, they made some changes to and added some recipes, but I haven't seen that for myself. Uh, but I will. Um, I'll keep playing here. Unlocking a few new things and checking a few things out. Uh, just to see uh, 
what other things they've done to the to the beta and added uh, what content they've added and things like that. So, all right, well, thank you for watching, and uh, I, I will uh, post more videos as I discover more. Thanks again. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I actually just hit level seven, um, and I unlocked a uh, that rune stone for arcane orb that. Um, Changes it to Arcane Nova, making it uh, modify the range out from 10 to 20 yards. And it's not only is that really, really powerful, but it uh, also looks different too. It looks cool. It's very, it's got, got a blue glow to it, and you can see the explosion is much bigger. Um, I don't have enough arcane power. Throw on some that explodes here. This wall should do it. Boom! That big explosion there. Very, very cool. Uh, so just wanted to share that with you. Thanks again with the Skeleton King, as do I. The cultists dragged me past this glowing pit. What made it? That's what I'm here to find out. Down this way! There are my- He's free! I am Cormac, warrior of the Templar Order. If it is the Skeleton King you seek, then you will have to fight your way past John Dar. There is no reason we should hunt alone. I suppose not. A strong spear at my side would be helpful.